and having things that make you just feel good and bring back good memories. And I think that's really key to this look is if it's items that have like significance to you or your story, that is really gonna help bring this look, you know, to fruition. Hi guys, it's Anya from Tier Design Hub back again today with another design style video. And today, I'm excited to go over this one. This one was interesting. So today's video, I'm gonna share with you Grand Millennial Design Style, what it is and how to get that look. Let's dive in. So what really inspired me to do this video on this design style is it's a throwback to that nostalgic traditional vibe. Like think grandma, <laughs> but like with a modern twist. I mean, we don't want it to be like literally grandma's house. That's not what we're going for. <laughs> but remember, you know, your grandmother's house and maybe not, but that style that I'm thinking of, like where you had the china and the, you know, figurines and the sideboard Cheerio cabinet thing and the patterns, lots of patterns. So taking inspiration from that and modernizing it to today's time, however, still really touching on that nostalgic traditional feeling which I get why this is becoming something that people are talking about in a design trend that's coming up because there's something about going through the world as it is right now and just wanting to kind of like go back to a place that feels really safe and really comfortable. And I find with a lot of big design trends, a lot of it is inspired from what is happening in the world. So this one was really interesting to me because I totally, totally see where it's coming from. What I also think is interesting is that this design trend fall, falls kind of like right in the middle, like that traditional style in between modernism and maximalism. And I, I haven't actually touched on either of those specifically, like I've done a little bit of modern, but I feel like I should really do a video where I talk about maximalism as well as modern and like maybe like the juxtaposition, but this is like, the sliver in the middle. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about that. I feel like another word I've heard is like granny chic. So I don't know if you like that, but that's another name for it, I guess, or what I found through searching. Take it or leave it. A big part on achieving this look is pattern. I touched it on already, but pattern is king in this look. So classic prints like tulle, chintz, and plaids, those are all part of this look. Yes, bringing this back into not just what you wear, but into your interior. And you wanna think about this like with the curtains and with the upholstery and with um, bedding and linens and all of that stuff. That's where you bring in your patterns. Another part of this look that's really bringing back that nostalgic traditional feeling is bringing in embellishments like fringe, pleats, and even Yeah, I know. I think I'm at an age where I remember when ruffles were still cool, not cool, but <laughs> well, maybe they were. I remember them once, so I feel like, oh my gosh, it's coming back, but let's not talk about how old I am. Beyond the patterning to bring this look in is through heirloom furniture, so antiques, which I have talked about in a few different videos, but really bringing in that more darker stained and like walnut and cherries, like more of that rich, woods that you would see traditionally, you know, back in the day. That really is a part of this look as well with the patterns and the traditional, you know, woods. And I would say heavier woods, almost more like that arts and crafts inspired palette, really. But the way that they say to really bring this into more current is to mix that with more current um, accents. So more modern accent pieces with some of these traditional, uh, heavier vintage items, if that makes sense. One of the big things with the Grand Millennial style is bringing in collections. Yes, you heard that right. Get those collectibles out. They don't need to collect dust in the corner anymore. <laughs> Actually, I should say they will collect dust now in the corner. Get them out of the box. <laughs> Take them out of the boxes. All right, so think milk glass, think sea glass, uh, a china pattern or a china set, think figurines, I know I said it, I can't believe it. Crystals, you know, you get it. Like basically 
bring in some of those things that you remember seeing at grandma's house. Like, you know what looks really cool in the grand millennial style is like a modern take on like plates on a wall, but instead of like lining them up and making them look like these are all part of the thing, take a modern funky planer plate and mix it with some of those traditional ones and do like a really cool like feature wall that like maybe has something almost like artistic about it. So there's a way to bring in the grand millennial style with that modern twist. And it's really about displaying those collections. And, and it's kind of like that, I feel like we're really pulling away from minimalism. I feel like we're really going towards more of a homey, comfortable, lived in, you know, space and having things that make you just feel good and bring back good memories. And I think that's really key to this look is if it's items that have like significance to you or your story, that is really going to help bring this look, you know, to fruition. So I think the one thing with this look is to really edit the design. You really want to make sure you don't go too far with it and you edit it accordingly. Avoiding overly cluttering with your collections and your patterns, but editing it down so that it has a nice aesthetic to it. So it's not super cluttered or too much. And that's hard to do. I mean, you kind of, I feel like put it all out there and then take away slightly and see where it looks, where it's that balance between not enough and too much. And I know that's a fine line to walk down. Another like key tidbit with those patterns that we were talking about and being selective is use bold patterns, but try to keep the color palette more contained. So if you're gonna use say bold patterns in blues and whites, try to keep in that theme of colors to really help streamline this look without it kind of taking over and being like, your drapes just vomited on your walls. <laughs> we don't want that. The point of it is to be very layered and like to bring in those really beautiful patterns and those text textiles and layering them without it feeling uh, too chaotic, but you definitely want it to feel cozy. So it's, again, it's, a, it's right down that middle. It's that balance. And the most important part is obviously to design it in a way that you love. And I think a big part of the Grand Millennial style is creating a comfortable, cozy space that you love. And it's curated from a place of you and your personality and you're highlighting parts of your first personality. So like, let's say a collection, let's say you love tea. So you have this great vintage tea set showing that off. Or let's say you or your grandmother or somebody in your life collected, you know, like figurines from like an elephant collection or from a fairy collection and you really love those, that's a part of your personality that you get to put into this look. And I think that's why people love it because it's so personalized. It becomes such an, a beautiful way of expressing yourself through interior design. I think what a lot of people don't realize is that high fashion actually really influenced this look and in interior design that happens all the time where we really see stuff that are on the runway and making their way into interior spaces. And a lot of design in general actually does come from high fashion. So where you saw this was actually with Gucci and apparently from what I read online, they have been popularizing this like granny chic look. You know, in their advertising is stuff like doilies. I don't know if you know what a doily is. I'll include one right here. And antique sets, which I just mentioned, like antique tea sets, all of those things have been used in their marketing and advertising, which is that traditional old, I don't wanna say old, but older look and really highlighting some of those more traditional styles and traditional themes. And when you see that and you embrace it, it really, because high fashion puts it out there, for some reason it always tends to kind of trickle down and we kind of start embracing it in a lot of other ways. I also think what has been really notable about the grand millennial style is that a lot of it has to do with also repurposing you know, vintage pieces. And there is a real movement for sustainable design. And I feel like that's the greatest part about this design style is that it does incorporate that. It incorporates bringing 
pieces that are from your family tree, from your, you know, passed down through generations or items that you've gone out and sourced at an antique shop or that you've collected over your travels or like, Maybe when you were a kid, I know when I was a kid, I had collectibles. So maybe bringing those back out if you've been just hauling them around in a box because you can't part with them because they just mean so much to you. I may have been doing that. <laughs> so that's what is awesome is that it really brings the opportunity to bring some of that back into your interior space, but it's not just kitschy. It's like super tailored and on trend and you're just like, yes, I did it. <laughs> And I think going with that and just kind of hitting on that is it's the story. And I think that's the key about this design style that I was like, I have to talk about it. I have to share it because grand millennial style is really a style built around storytelling. It's really a style around you as the person. And I think, having that emotional connection to your space is what makes it, what makes it. I mean, it's what makes it, right? So I wanna give you guys some visual ideas of how you can kind of bring this into your space. Just some cool items that really level up the grand millennial style. So something like a chintz bed would look fantastic. I love this. Or what you could do is take a headboard that's existing and just buy the fabric and reupholster it yourself. Super easy to do. And then again, you can even throw that into the throw pillows. Like having like pattern on pattern is a great thing in this style. Like you can totally do that. Also, and I remember seeing these a lot, that blue and white pattern, like those lamps with that super traditional look to it with a super warm oversized shade that would look amazing in this style as well as like a pleated lampshade which I can't remember the last time I've seen a pleated lampshade but you can get really fun with it and the nice part is this is a look that you know maybe you add in the shade and then just switch it out later if you keep the base more neutral so there's a way to do that where you can bring it in and take it out I actually did have a video where I talked about classic foundational pieces so if you want to add this style in, add it in through your accent pieces and keep the foundational pieces more classic if you don't want to like fully, fully commit. <laughs> also wallpaper, as a, if you're willing to go and commit, wallpaper is a great way to bring in the pattern. I'm sorry for that noise, I have no idea what it is. Things like wicker sconces, also that natural, there's something about wicker that I feel like it's definitely on trend again in so many looks like boho and Scandinavian and eco style. Like there's so many ways to bring in wicker, but I think from like a very traditional standpoint, it really does fit with the style because I feel like that's where we all saw wicker for the first time was at like grandma's house. <laughs> and then another one, if you're, you know, going out and trying to actually like get some furniture that fits like if this is 100% you and you're 100% committing there's like that cool kind of granny looking sofa and you can totally go with that as well so just some ideas for some pieces that you can get in your space that will really like level up to that grand millennial style all right guys if you're enjoying this content please consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss the next one, as well as smashing that thumbs up button because I really do appreciate that. It really helps me out. And until next time, bye.